Hi, I'm Allie Sutton. This is my first year at Ben Spears Stamps Baxter School of Music and I'm having a blast. Let me show you what we do on a typical day. First, of course, is breakfast, which some people eat, some people don't. It's good food, but it's not mandatory, so some of us prefer an extra hour's sleep. Then, everyone comes to the auditorium for announcements and devotions, which aren't as boring as they sound. One day, for example, Ben Spear sang in the midst of it all after his son read from the book of Job. It just about had us all in tears. If you're ever in need of something additional for breakfast, I understand that Jack Clark makes a mean waffle. So if you see him, just ask him to make you one. Irish-born Joseph M. Scriven was 25 years old, in love, and to be married. The day before his wedding, his fiance died in a tragic drowning accident. Heartbroken, Joseph sailed from his homeland to start a new life in Canada. Around the same time that Eliza died, Joseph received word from Ireland that his mother was ill. He could not go be with her, so he wrote a letter of comfort and enclosed one of his poems. Noted musician Charles C. Converse put music to that poem. The seemingly sad and obscure life of one man resulted in so many lives being uplifted, both in his own time and for many years after, whenever the beautiful and comforting words of this, his song, are sung. Then it's off to theory class. Wow, I never knew you could learn so much about the fundamentals of music in such a short few days. They've got some real brainiacs who teach the advanced classes. There are eight different classes, but I'm just a beginner, so I'm in Freddie Edwards' class. He is so patient with us, and we're all learning more than we thought. Elephant gobbled boy down fast. <laughs> Next is a lot of people's favorites, group singing. It's on the stage of the auditorium, and we all sit in our parts, bass, tenor, alto, and soprano. I can't describe the feeling you get sometimes singing those great songs with some really great singers. It's like the best three or four singers in every choir in your town got together to sing. It's incredible. time for lunch. Here you'll get the chance to meet people you probably never ever meet otherwise. I sit at the international table. Go ahead and introduce yourself guys. Well my name is Tim Oshin and I'm from Harvey Bay, Queensland, Australia. And this is Kerry, my brand new wife of three weeks. And she's from Tupelo, Mississippi. I'm Frank Beckert from Fort Vermilion, Alberta, Canada. And it's a little town population around a thousand. And I'm Marika Vueta. I'm from Stellenbosch in the Western Cape of South Africa. Awesome. 
So being from all parts of the world, how did you guys find out about the school? Um, well, a pastor at my church, he came to visit America quite often, and he actually found out about the church and told me oh, about the uh, school and told me about it, and I thought, that is a good idea. I should definitely come check it out. And I googled Stamps Baxter online, came up with the school, and thought, that's a good idea. <laughs> I found out through my grandmother. She came several years ago and just raved about it forever, so she felt like my brother and I should come, so we came, and we love it. We've been back several times since then. And I found out through this gal. What do you all have to say, maybe a piece of advice for potential students? It's well worth it. Mm. If they want to do it and they're not sure about it, just take the chance and go. If they won't be sorry. If you love Southern Gospel music, Stamps is definitely the best place to come. Mm. Having the opportunity to be trained by the top artists and just getting an insight on what the, the knowledge that they have and the expertise and experience that they have, to just grasp all that, it's, it's an honour and a privilege. I mean, it's some of the best two weeks of your life. You'll never forget it and you'll have friends that you'll make here that you'll have your whole life, plus the wealth of knowledge that you get while you're here. You heard it here. No matter who you are or what part of the world you're from, Ben Spears Stamps Baxter School of Music is sure to give you an education, friends, and memories to last a lifetime. After lunch, it's back to theory class. Not only do we learn music theory, we also learn how to sight read. Sing a song we've never heard before by reading the notes on the page. It's not as hard as it sounds. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, let's work on a little bit of sight singing. If you know Amazing Grace, which I'm sure you do, and you start singing the melody, is that sight reading? No, because you already know it, right? Okay, sight reading is singing something that you've never seen before, and you're singing it by sight instead of by rote, okay? Rote is you already know it. All right, sight singing, you're singing it by looking and following, and we're gonna do it with solfege syllables and shapes, okay? Do, Okay, that me's a little bit shaky. One of the great things I learned when I came to this school was that a lot of people who sound really great when they're singing are actually singing incorrectly and even doing damage to their vocal cords. One of the most valuable classes is also one of the shortest. It's just 30 minutes and Allison Spear teaches it. It's vocal technique. I'll tell you, I'm really glad I learned to protect my voice. I was doing quite a bit wrong before. At this point, we've got to make a decision. The instrumentalist workshop, the conducting workshop, and the performance training are all electives. Let's sneak around and see if we can't see a little bit of each. This is Leah Powell's conducting workshop. It's an elective where you not only learn how to be a better director for a choir or an ensemble, but also how you learn to be a better member for your choir director at home. Let's listen in. And in your conducting. First thing we're gonna do is just basics. So everybody stand up. Remember, keep flat, clear, beat down to the, the side and parallel, and that's where we're going to be. All right? We're going to start out with 4-4 four, four time. No bouncing, no wrists. All right, 4-4 four, four time. Ready? One, two, three, four.
Feel different than when you're doing it by yourself. And this is Jack Clark's instrumentalist workshop, where he teaches how to accompany quartets, soloists, and choirs on piano. In fact, he's been doing it almost since the invention of the piano, and he knows how to do it right. Okay, when she says play in scales, how many of you know what we're talking about? Okay, playing scales as a part of an arrangement, how many of you can do that? Okay, we cut the number down pretty good. Have you ever heard anybody do that? They get almost to the end of the scale and they, were, they got there too early and they hang up on that last note just before they complete the scale and it's a... me out. I hate it when they do that. Now this is my very favorite part of the day. It's the other elective and it's called performance training. The instructor is Allison Spear and I just love her to death. She really teaches you to communicate to the people that you're singing to because no matter how well you sing if you're not communicating you got the pitch You've got the voice. All we need is a little bit of confidence and a little bit of a display of what you have inside. If you will just try this, you can exhibit more control of your emotions when you learn to display them properly. Now it's back to the cafeteria for supper and hanging out with my new friends. Later we'll have a concert. Russ Taff was here a couple nights ago and the Dixie Melody Boys are here tonight. In the past, they've had Ivan Parker, Greater Vision, Buddy Green, Gordon Moat, the Perrys, the Bowlings, Ernie Haas and Signature Sound, and so many more. After the concert, there's another session of group singing, then something called performance opportunities. This is kind of like an open mic night. Any student can sing or play, and some will be awarded the opportunity to audition for the big finale concert at the end of the school. What a unique experience. I've never been a part of anything like it. There is nothing like it. I can't tell you all that I've learned, all the great people I've met, all the great music that I've heard and been a part of, and all the fun that I've had, but I can tell you one thing. I'm coming back next July. Why don't you come and join us? As the brochure says, the school only lasts two weeks, but the effect of the school lasts forever. Thank <laughs> you.